Welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. It's actually been a pretty long time since I uploaded last, um, but in this video, as you know from the title, uh, we're going to be coding a steal emoji command. So a few of you guys may have already seen the Carl bot uh, steal emoji command, and that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Um, so we're going to be walking through each step of the code to make sure you guys understand it, but also so that you guys can have the code uh, for your own Discord bots. Um, this will not be for slash commands, although I can make a slash command uh, tutorial on this in the future. But for now, this is just for normal prefix commands. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we actually start with the code, I would like to say that I did code a Discord bot. Um, the growth has kind of slowed down, so we're around 54 servers. Um, so that means that I am uh, pretty close to verifying on Discord. Um, so if you're interested, please add it to your servers. That would be very helpful, and it would also mean a lot. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and start the code now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a very basic uh, command um, with our command handler. This should work uh, for any command handler. Um, just copy the contents of the code. Um, not like the actual command handler, but I would recommend using this one. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and just make that. So we can do if command equals equals equals, and then we can do steal. Um, so then we can open this up, and inside of this, we can go ahead and start. So the first thing that we're going to be going ahead and doing is we're going to go ahead and make our permissions. So basically, what we're going to start with is we're going to make it so um, nobody in the server can add uh, emojis using this command unless they have the uh, manage emojis permission. So I'll show you how to do that. So we can do if uh, exclamation mark message dot member dot permissions dot has and then we can do manage emojis. Capitals actually do matter in code um, and all these little dots and stuff do as well. So anytime you see me capitalize a letter, make sure you do the same. So now we can do return message dot channel dot send and inside this we can do you do not have permission to execute this command um and then it, once we're done with that we can actually open up a new one so we can do uh, if args dot length um and then we can do uh return message dot channel dot send and we can do please specify or please send an emoji to steal so what this uh, line of code is going to do is it's going to take our args um, and that's the string variable um, and that's basically going to say that if there's no emoji, um, if you didn't provide emoji or you didn't provide a valid emoji, uh, it will say please send an emoji to steal. So now what we can go ahead and do is we can do for um, const emojis of args and we can go ahead and open this up and we can do const parse emoji. And then equals discord.util. Uh, not discord.util. util. parse emoji. Um, and then we can do emojis. And uh, as you can see here, we did make a variable already, uh, const emojis of args. Um, so we don't really have to make an actual emoji variable. We already did that there. Uh, so now what we can go ahead and do is we can make another if statement inside of this. So we can do if parsed emoji and then we can do dot id then we can go ahead and open that up and we can make a few variables so the first one is going to be a uh, const um extension equals parsed emoji dot animated question mark uh, not animated question mark we can do dot if um and then we can do right here we can do dot png um, and then we can do const url equals, uh, and inside this, what we're going to need to do is we're going to actually have to uh, get the uh, cdn discord app attachment um, url. So we can do https uh, cd, cdn.discordapp.com uh, slash emojis slash, um, and then we can open this up and we can do parsed emoji.id plus extension, uh, just like that. Uh, so now that we've done that, what we can go ahead and do is we can uh, actually create a name variable. So we can do const uh, emoji name equals argument dot slice one. And we can do dot join. And inside that, uh, we can do open uh, quotation marks. And then we can go ahead and close that off. 
Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually steal the emoji still inside of this uh, for loop. So we can just uh, open that up and we can do message.steal.emojis. Under that, we can do dot create. Open that up and we can do it URL, comma, emoji name, two lines, and then parsed emoji dot name. Um, and then just like that, we are done. Uh, so now what we can go ahead and do is we can do a then statement and create a uh, message embed, embed and then uh, basically send it in the channel and then catch an error. So uh, right under here, we can do dot then. Then we can open this up, emoji, error function, open that up. And then we can go ahead and create our embed. So we can do const embed equals new message embed. Let's scroll down a little bit. Um, and then we can go ahead and, uh, oops. We can open this up. We can do set color blue. Then we can do set description. Um, and then for this tutorial, we'll continue with our white check mark. But in a future video, I am going to show you guys how you can actually um, use custom emojis in your embeds. So we can do uh, white uh, check mark. Then we can do added emoji. Wait, added. Uh, we don't even need this added emoji uh, with the name and then inside of this we can actually open up uh, quotation marks and then we can do um, we can open that up and then we can do emoji name just like that um, and then our embed is done so now we can go ahead and send it so we can do message dot channel dot send and then we can do embeds and then inside this we can do embed uh, and then we can go ahead and catch an error so we can do dot catch error we can do message dot channel dot send and then we can say there was an error this may be because your server has reached its emoji limits uh, so basically what all this is going to do is this is our embed uh, so this is a message that's going to be sent so um it's going to send this message after it adds the emoji so all of our so basically what's going to happen in the start of the command is it's going to check for the permissions right if it doesn't have the permissions it will return and send this message um then if the permissions check out and the person actually does have the permissions um then it will check to see if you even sent an emoji or if you sent a valid emoji or message at all right um and then um if all, all this checks out and um it doesn't have to send this message right here um then it will uh, continue into the code and um it will start off by basically taking uh, all these variables and then adding an emoji to the guild with the uh, variables that we use up here um, and then it will go down here and if everything worked properly it will send the embed if it didn't work properly it will send this error message so now that we've go ahead, gone ahead and done that, we can go ahead and uh, name this real quick, uh, just emoji. Um, and then we can go ahead and open up our terminal and we can go ahead and test our bots. All right, once your bot is online, uh, we can go ahead and do our prefix. So we can just make sure it's working. And as you can see, it is working. So we can do exclamation mark steal. And as you can see, um, it says, please send an emoji to steal. If you look here, um, that's what it's going to say here. So it's going to say, please send an emoji to steal. All right, so one thing that I did mess up, and I actually have to change it in my main bot as well, um, but the permission is actually manage emojis and stickers. All right, so in the code, you're going to want to go ahead and change this to manage emojis underscore and stickers, uh, just like that, and then we can go ahead and restart it. All right, now that the bot is back on, we can run our steal command, and as you can see, it says you do not have permission to execute this command. Uh, so we fixed that uh, little issue. Uh, so now we can actually give ourselves permission. All right, now that we have uh, given ourselves permission, we can actually try and steal an emoji. Uh, so I'll just do steal, and then I will do the Esky logo, just like that. As you can see, it says I have added um, Esky with the name blank because I did not give it a name. All right, so now we can do steal, and we can choose a different emoji, like a shark, and then we can name it shark. Um, and as you can see, it steals the emoji with the name shark. And if we go into our emoji settings here, um, emojis, uh, we've added... All of the emojis so now let's try stealing an animated emoji so if we do steal um i'll just go with this one 
um, as you can see, it adds it to the server. One other thing that you could do, um, because as you can see, it gives it a blank name. Um, if you uh, did that, you could go into here, um, and we could do the two lines, and then we could do emoji dot name, uh, just like that, and then we can restart our bot and test that out. All right, now that the bot is restarted, we can try stealing like a uh, shark or something like that. I don't know. Um, and as you can see, it uh, steals the emoji and sends this actual name. Um, so yeah, that's how you that's how you code the seal command with Discord.js. If this works for you, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, if it didn't, leave a comment or join the help server in the description below. Um, as you can see, the help server has tons of people in it every day, and uh, they're helping each other out. So um, it's very helpful. If you want to join, uh, link in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.